Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. GPT-4 is the sensation in the AI world now. So let us see how we can use GPT-4 for our research article preparation. So what are the important features that we can use to prepare our research article so and make our research article better without struggling. So let us go on to today's video how JP GPT-4 can be useful for our research article preparation. Now see here how your research paper is, can be organized. So all the research paper contain this organization. This is the following organization. Abstract, keywords, introduction part, research gap, proposed system. So in proposed system you have block diagrams, figures of that particular techniques, dynamic equations, flowcharts for the particular techniques. Next results and discussions. So figures of all the results and their explanation. And next one is their comparison tables and analysis. So next to last is the conclusion and references. So by using a tool, we have seen all the things which is related with your research. For example, uh, to write the abstract, we have made a video uh, with an AI tool, how to make an abstract by just giving your content that you have prepared. It will give a better abstract. So here the video we have made regarding how to generate our abstract. So here your abstract will be generated easy, easily using an AI tool. So here you, your abstract will be generated. So you can see you can generate abstract keywords using our AI tool. So, so you can mark it as red. Next uh, introduction. So you already made a video regarding how to make introduction with our research article uh, using AI tool to prepare our research article. So you can see here how to write introduction part of your research article using uh, AI tools. Uh, so that is a thing. Next uh, we can made also videos regarding how to summarize tables in your research paper using uh, different AI tools. So we use the different AI tools to summarize our tables and contents in your research articles. So here the problem with the preparing preparation is that people struggling with this that this diagrams. So block diagrams, figures of the particular techniques, flow charts and also figures of all the results. So we have to make a detailed explanation for that particular diagrams pictures present in your research article. So if you if you write that uh, we can write uh, up to just four or five lines we can write. So on that it has to be expanded. So if your supervisor say expand it man. So you have to expand sit down and write for uh, uh, that particular diagrams explanation. So in order to overcome this uh, uh, burden to you. So GPT-4 will analyze your image and it will give a human-like content as they said in their demo. So let us see what they have told. Here we go what a GPT-4 do. So this is what we have to do with our research article. So what we have to do is that we will make this block diagrams, uh, figures and flowcharts. What are the figures uh, available in your research article can be explained with GPT-4. So because it will read the images so and it will convert the images into text. So it will explain the images what you are inserting. So this is an insane option which is given by GPT-4. So that by GPT-4 can be very very useful for our research work if it come. So because all the other parts what you have did uh, using AI uh, can be done using AI tool. The only drawback we found is how to convert an image into text. That is uh, any technical images that can be converted into text. When you are struggling to write a brief article about a particular image, so you you may feel <coughs> so you cannot expand the content very longer. So for in that extent, you can use this kind of tool to uh, make uh, that content of that particular figure very very better. So you can use this GPT-4. This is a better best option that a GPT-4 can give. GPT-4 also has a lot of internal cartridges thereby it can uh, answer the content very correctly so you can see
the main advantages of this gpt4 is to deal with your text here you can use uh, there are different options so hierarchical text conditional image generation with clip patterns next creating images from text connecting text to images next uh, these are the audio related so as far as our research uh, point of view is concerned so gpt4 can be uh, a text uh, image and text related one thereby you can make use of the gpt4 to convert your uh, technical images into uh, text form so it can be very very useful for the research article preparators preparations the researchers so that way you can use this gpt4 wisely so uh, if you want to use gpt4 you have you, you must be a member of a gpt plus subscribe subscription so thereby you can use gpt4 wisely so gpt4 also the feedback is that gpt4 also uh, gives a less plagiarism and compared to the, with this previous models so thereby you can use gpt4 uh, to for your to, for your research article preparation it will be a better better tool to make sure that to make sure that you can use the points that is block diagrams figures and dynamic uh, flow charts and the figures of the results you can insert that figures and you can get the content of that particular figures as human like so it is an important option using gpt4 so this video will be very useful for the researchers so who are struggling to write an uh, block diagram explanation or a flowchart explanation or a figures explanation in your research article so uh, use this ai tool for your content preparation thank you for watching our videos hope this video will be helpful for you have a nice day thank you